Hello everyone, my name is Olaf Wysocki and I would like to welcome you on my presentation Plastic Surgery for 3D City Models, a pipeline for automatic geometry refinement and semantic enrichment. So currently we are encountering the structured dataset influx, be it semantic 3D city models, HD maps, BIM models. Those are characterized by rich semantic information, high global accuracy, but they also have some core cons like coarse representation or low temporal resolution. But on the other hand, there we have also an influx of unstructured datasets, be it LiDAR point clouds, images, or even text. Those are characterized by a poor semantic information, a rather low global accuracy. So generally they are the contradicting characteristic of structured datasets. That's why the question arises how to maximize potential of both of those datasets. So one of the first communities to ask this question is automated driving functions testing community. So they already created some virtual environments, virtual test beds that mirror the reality in very high level. However, still they don't do not suffice for the new testing of complex physical sensor effects requirements. So as you can see on the left, this is the representation of the virtual test but right now but the testing should take place in a very also on a very, very rough surfaces testing so like in the interaction of a light for a rough surface so now the question arises how to not squander the legacy of the existing models and enrich the, those existing models with new information with new geometrical and semantical information so this is basically a multi-objective op optimization problem with conflicted objectives because when some parameters are suitable for testing AD sensors then this could be not the same set of parameters for the 3D web viewer so there is no such thing as free lunch as they call it therefore we present a solution plastic surgery for 3D city models so we have the semantic 3D city model as the existing information of the existing structure information. To that, we add the unstructured information, be it point clouds, within a pipeline that is controlled by set of parameters, depending on the application at hand. And in the end, we obtain enriched semantic 3D city model. In practice, this means that we increase the geometry resolution of the existing models and add semantics and preserve the existing semantics. So the, in the proposed pipeline, so how this high level overview materialize, we add the HD map and CTGML to our pipeline with the point clouds of MLS and ALS. Then we process them in the processing segment here. So the parameters control the elements of this processing pipeline like segmentation, surface reconstruction, semantic enrichment and then in the end this yields the CTGML enriched models and also the data smith format which actually serves purposes of simulation engines like automated driving simulations. And let us jump first to the clipping and grand points filtering. This basically is a concept of vertical and horizontal like partition. So like in the picture on the left hand side, there is a road, which is depicted by point clouds. Those point clouds could be vertical and horizontal. So in terms of, let's say a road, a horizontal like point clouds are enough to depict the surface geometry of, a, of such a road. So therefore the vertical like parts could be filtered out. But this is not the case for the vertical like objects where when we filter out the horizontal like part so let's say a pavement like in this picture here on the right hand side then still the noise is present uh, within the existing searching radius as in this red circle a tree when we want to only refine the geometry of a building for instance the, therefore the further segmentation is needed for vertical like objects such as buildings and for this, uh, we use the RANZAC algorithm because when we have a shrunken area, then the RANZAC is suitable to find a plane within this noisy, still noisy, point cloud. 
And as you can see here in this picture, on the left hand side, some noise is present and applying the Ransack yields the wall segment that is actually ready to be refined, to be reconstructed. This, all of this yields goes to the surface reconstruction. So from vertical-like and horizontal-like objects, we go immediately to the surface reconstruction, which actually is a surface refinement. Because what we aim to do here is to, to preserve the semantics that is existing and preserve the geometry that is existing and add to that new one, new geometry and new attributes also. So this is controlled by four parameters uh, and is within the screen Poisson algorithm. So as you can see down below, this is the visualization of such a approach. Depending on the parameter used, the geometry resolution increases while the semantics is preserved and also added. And this actually could be a basis for the semantic enrichment because the semantic enrichment can use the enhanced geometries to create a new one, create a new semantics, a new feature of a city. So in this case, the radiometric features and prior information is also used to detect a manhole. Like here, visible in this, in this picture, there is a manhole within this red rectangle. Then based on some radiometric features, we can filter out the not relevant points and thus create a clusters of possible manholes as the mantle is distinct to the road surface. And then based on some prior information, for instance from national laws, then we can know the diameter of manholes in this particular area and encircle that based on this on these clusters also. As visible in this in this picture. Then we can model that uh, based on the whole and whole surface classes from CityGML 3.0 um, and actually cut this geometry out of the road surface and add the semantics. We tested our, all of our results in uh, Ingolstadt, Germany because of the plethora of available structured and unstructured datasets. So we also tested the horizontal like structures on roads uh, and uh, as we can see in this table maybe the qualitative, re qualitative results can yield quite interesting uh, insights, while the quantitative not 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 so much, because as we can see here, uh, the cobblestone is visible in the picture, but it's hard to perceive it from the table. Also, our method works perfectly for for buildings, and as we can see here, the RMS error in the table is decreasing while compared to LOD free models, and while the increasing the octree level, so the geometrical resolution level of refined models. This also is, was tested on the uh, GIS tools and automated driving simulation tools like 3 dctdb and Unreal Engine where we created a game which one can explore the created models. So to conclude, uh, we proved that geometry and semantic enrichment can be made automatically. It is an end-to-end -end solution and also this preserves the existing semantic and existing geometry of 3D city models and additionally can add the geometry and semantic enrichment. And also this all adapts to the specific, specific requirements of an, of an user and also can be used in various applications like GIS tools and simulation engines as I showed before. It is still planned however to validate it, the semantic enrichment part and also to test it on more city features and also on more elements of buildings, such as balconies, for instance. And also on different architectural styles, not only on Ingolstadt, Germany. And thank you for your attention. Uh, please check the results and implementation under the GitHub repository attached here. And feel free to contact me. And hopefully, see you soon.